Retailers across the country are bracing for one of the busiest shopping days of the year, Black Friday. That's the time when consumers brave the crowds both in-store and online to snag the best products and prices. But are some deals too good to be true? Varnish Tarabi is a personal finance strategist and joins us with some insight. Nice to see you. Hi, ladies. So a lot of people, they're really eager to like go and take advantage of these Black Friday deals. But you say don't always take them at face value. Yes, don't assume this is the absolute best day of the year to get deals. In fact, it's just the beginning. In some cases. And at NerdWallet, we do a study year over year for the past four years and found that, in fact, some identical items that are on sale on Black Friday in 2015, highly promoted, the same or even more expensive than what they were promoted last year, Black Friday. So real concrete evidence that this is not the end all of deals. Why do they repeat offers, these retailers? Well, they're, people don't remember. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. We don't remember what mm -hmm. prices were last year. And I think if they had success with those door busters, with those same prices last year, getting people in. I mean, really, Black Friday is an opportunity. It's a marketing event for retailers to get you in the door. And they'll do whatever they can. Once you're there, chances are you will buy something. I mean, think about it psychologically. You've made the trip. You've uh, dedicated the day to, to make the most of it, and you'll probably end up buying some things. All right, well, let's talk about some good examples. Which products should you go for on Black Friday, and which ones should you stay away from? So historically, uh, televisions on the low to mid level uh, are pretty good deals, and we're seeing a lot of doorbusters from Walmart for that Best Buy exam for, as well. Appliances, as well as other electronics. Small appliances, too, like uh, your coffee makers, uh, mini toasters, but also the big appliances. If you're looking for a stove, a microwave, a refrigerator, also a good time to be price comparing. So how can consumers avoid scams on Black Friday deals? So absolutely shop with retailers that you trust, both online and offline. If a deal sounds too good to be true, just walk away. Don't even bother investigating. And also, it's really about doing your research and doing your homework and making sure that, you know, this is a, a good deal. And when they do these bold, discounted 50% off, 70% off, if it's really bold, you want to read the fine print to make sure that, is there a mail-in rebate that's going to be involved? And what are they basing that discount off? Off of. Is it the manufacturer's retail price, which nobody really uses? It's a higher price. Or is it the retail price that's kind of more common? And sometimes they'll use the manufacturer's price to make it seem like a bigger discount. So how can consumers optimize their savings? So take your time. Use Black Friday as just one of the many days you're going to be shopping this holiday season. And also go online. You know, even Walmart's announced already that a majority of their Black Friday deals will be online. I would rather be home, you know. <laughs> save money on gas and also you know look at your credit cards and their uh, benefits to see if they'll do things like uh, price guarantee and if there's a defective product you can return it and do use those apps like red laser shop savvy to price compare while you're in stores to make sure that if you're at target this is the best price and if it's not maybe you can use a competitor's price that's shown on your app to get them to price match I'm still stuck on the concept that retailers repeat these offers can we just go through some of these because yeah sure. I think this is going to be eye-opening for some people. It is, it know? is. And you're, we've done this, again, at NerdWallet for four years straight, and we found, unfortunately, this year, lots to be similar. Like, so at Sam's Club, uh, we have here in uh, last November, they had the Apple iPad Air 2 for 437 same deal this year. So it's not the best price ever. Sears also, the refrigerator from Kenmore, uh, same price last year to this year at $749. But in some cases, the prices are worse this year. So we have in 2014 Kohl's advertising a $400 mixer from KitchenAid. You got an extra 10% off last year that doesn't exist this year. And then at Staples, their laser printer last year was 180 and then you got a 10% off uh, discount this year. It's actually more money, 199 So it costs more this year yeah. for that laser printer from <laughs> it Staples. It does. And, you know, I think there's some macroeconomics to explain this. We're looking at retail sales, and we know, for example, Macy's, which is a market leader, announcing sluggish retail sales. The CEO, Terry Lundgren, saying it's overall broadly a very slow start to the fourth quarter. And I think that's because the temperature has been really good. Mm. And so a lot of these winter items, your uh, ski coats, your boots, they're staying in inventory. And so that, I think, is probably what's pushing prices to be not as aggressive this year. They want people to spend more. Mm. All right. Good advice. Just a hunch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for pointing all of that out. Farnoosh Tarabi, thank you for joining us. Brought to you by Lincoln Financial. 
Take charge of your today and tomorrow.